Uh, you're, um, there's a book of you coming out, the, the Gospel of, uh, of Filth, and you wrote it together with uh, Gavin Baddeley? Gavin Baddeley, yeah. Gavin Baddeley. Uh, who is a reverend uh, of the, the Church, Church of Satan? Well, he's uh, a, an occult historian. I mean, I don't think the reverend okay. of the Church of Satan is that interesting. Um, yeah, no, we've been working on it for four years now. Um, why, why did you... What was the original idea? Just a biography of the band? Well, it, or you wanted to... It's not a biography of the band. It uses... What it does is use each album um, and the, 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 um, the influence of that record. So, for example... The chapter Dusk and Embrace starts off with what we were doing at the time, where it was recorded, blah, blah, blah. And it's quite informative on there, but it uses the origins of it as a springboard to leap into what that chapter is about, which is the Gothic aesthetic. So it's from Gothic architecture right through to, um, right through to um, the, the Gothic authors, um, Gothic fops, you know, like people in the 18th century, the English hell rakes, um, Byron and Shelley, right through to things like the burgeoning goth scene that emerged at the end of the 70s, and then finishes right up with, you know, talking to bands like Within Temptation, Lacuna Coil, Paradise Lost, people that have carried that Gothic aesthetic to the modern day. So it sort of starts with band issues, finishes on band issues, and in the meantime, it's very historical, um, and each chapter is different like that, so it's, the whole thing is like a, a bible of decadence and darkness. And it covers everything. We can, you can think of horror films and black magic and childhood nightmares and, uh, you know, gothicism, femme fatales, um, drug culture. But um, it's all, you know, shot through with, with, with a bit of self-deprecating black humour. And there's, it, uh, although it is um, written by an occult, it's really hard to say that, an occult <laughs> historian, so it's very historic and, and can be read as such, it's uh, star-studded by lots of contributors. So there'll be interviews or parts of interviews with people and box outs and my narrative that runs throughout it. And some of the contributors have been people as diverse as Dario Argento, Tim Burton, um, Clive Barker, Christopher Lee, Ingrid Pitt, Villa Valor, uh, Diamanda Gallus, Marilyn Manson, Charlie Manson, Richard Ramirez. Uh, you know, the list is 200 yeah. people plus have, yeah. have contributed in some small way. Yeah, but what, what does it say about the band? Well, the band, it, like I say, it uses everything as a springboard. It's, it's, it sort of explores what we were about and where it went and why. And, and then, you know, just further branches out into the whole mythos of everything. Um, you know, there's some great, there's like, a, I think one of the last interviews have been used from um, Anton LaVey. There's some great photos from film stills to, to, you know, stuff that people haven't seen from the band or from or from other bands, or other films, in fact. Um, Jeff Wayne actually does a part a bit in there because obviously we touch upon soundtracks as well. There's Johnny Depp in there. There's, there's you know, it's, there's all kinds of things. But it's, yeah. um, there's a, it's coming out in the stores in, in sorry, that's What's just uh, my skin frying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's coming out in yeah. stores in, um, in the, at Easter. But in, before then, there's a special grimoire edition that's leather-bound, hand-signed, hand-numbered, and with an extra chapter written by me at the back. Yeah. I'm just going Coming out at Halloween.